brought you this morning. A fire at a West Tulsa motel leaves one person dead. Dozens more are now homeless after that fire destroyed a two story section of the building. Two News reporter Will Dupree tells us what some of those residents plan to do now. Firefighters from three departments worked this morning to put out the large fire that erupted around 830 at the Interstate Inn. Philip Strickland moved into the motel about a year ago and says he woke up to a loud popping noise. I looked out, there's flames starting from the side of the building all the way up. Quickly, he put on some shoes and hurried to knock on every door. When I was brought up, you always want to get everybody out. You know, it's like family here, you know. We have kids here. We got, you know, adults. We got older people here and got everybody out safely, except one person. Firefighters found a body in the building and later searched through the rubble to see if there were any other victims. Luckily, everyone else made it out alive. Everything I own's in that room. Um, Donnie Ward moved in here two months ago. It's a disaster. He hoped to move out next week and finally get his own place, but now he'll have to put those plans on hold. And everything I had saved was in there, all my clothes, everything I own's in that room. Firefighters are now working with agents from the ATF to figure out what caused the fire. Neighbors plan to see what they can salvage before they move on. From West Tulsa, Will Dupree, 2 News works for you. An ambulance says it took two people to the hospital in fair condition. Paramedics also treated a firefighter for a minor burn injury. The Red Cross just released a new statement to the newsroom saying 19 people have registered to stay in an overnight shelter. Well, new tonight, another